Hey y'all, welcome to third grade, chapter one, lesson 12. We are going to do number two. So number two, it's a two-part problem. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. This nice music sold 287 CDs on the first day of a two-day sale. So 287 is gonna be our first number. The store sold 96 more CDs on the second day than on the first. So we are gonna add that 96 more CDs, okay? Now, how many CDs were sold in all during the two day sale? Well, the first day was 287, so that number won't change. The second number is going to be this number, okay? So we're gonna do 287 plus 96. Okay, seven plus six is 13, carry the 10. One plus eight is nine, plus nine more is 18. Again, carry the 10, and one plus two is three. So 383, that's what this number is. Okay, so now we're gonna do 287 and 383. And we're gonna add those together, okay? So, three plus seven is 10, so we're gonna carry the one. Eight and eight is 16, plus one is 17. Carry the 10 to it. One plus three is four, plus two is six. So, 670 there, and 670 CDs. Okay, we're gonna go over onto the back. Okay, and it says, you guys are going to do the lesson check. Um, I'm going to see if I can help you out, though, okay? So, Miss Henley picked 46 tomatoes from our garden on Friday. On Saturday, she picked 17. Oh, you're just going to add those up. Rosa read 57 pages of the book. She read 13 fewer pages in the afternoon. How many pages did she read in the afternoon? So, you're going to do 57 minus 13, okay? Overview. Mike has 57 action figures. Alex has 186 action figures. Estimate the number of action figures Mike and Alex have together. Well, 57, let's round that to 50. And 186, I would round that to 200. So 50 and 200 is going to be, uh, let's put about, about 250 action figures. Or if we're going to make all the boys in the class mad, dolls. All right. There are 500 sheets of paper in the path Hannah bought. She used 137 sheets already. How many sheets does she have left? So 500 minus 137. Okay. So they're trying to get tricky on this. So zeros can't take away anything. So we're going to go all the way over to the five and make it a four which makes this one a 10, okay? However, I have to borrow one for this. So now that's a nine and this one's a 10, okay? So now 10 take away seven, three, nine take away three, six, and four take away one, three. And sheets of paper, okay? All right. There were 370 visitors to the Science Museum on Friday. There were 409 visitors on Sunday. How many more people visited the museum on Saturday? Sorry, Saturday, not Sunday. So 409, 387, and they want to know the difference? Let's do it. Okay, 9 minus 7 is 2. 0 can't take away anything. So we're going to go over, borrow, making it a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. So Three minus three is zero, so 22 How am I? Oh, sorry guys, that was an eight. That was an eight. Which makes this a one, not a two.
Okay. And this was a... Uh, hold on, y'all. Miss Leah messed up this problem big time. Let's do it right. Okay. So 409 minus 378. Now let's see if Miss Leah can get this right. Okay. 9 minus 8 is 1. Zero still can't take away anything. So we are going to go over and make that a three. That's a 10. Now 10 minus seven is three. So 31 visitors. Sorry, y'all. Ignore the first one. Ms. Lee is battling some allergies. So Robbie's score is 247 points in a video game. How many more points does he, does he need to score a total of 650? So we still have to find the difference. So 650 minus 247, okay? So zero cannot take away seven. We're going to borrow one, making it a 10. 10 minus seven is three, four minus four is zero, and six minus two is four. So 403 points. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for chapter one. Come on back for chapter two. See you soon.